Let's check out footballers in their native habitat. If anyone doesn't already know, David Rabbit Borough, but Rabbit Borough is obviously a spin-off of David Attenborough. But uh, Rabbit Borough does more everyday, mundane type situations. So let's find out what he's looking at today. Dotted around the Australian urban sprawl are a number of wildlife reserves which have been put aside for a special species. These include such parks as VFL Park, Princess Park and Football Park. These reserves are of course the home of this creature, the Australian rules footballer, <laughs> one of the most powerful and athletic species in the world. But to the shame of the Australian population, every Saturday, hundreds of thousands of people flock to these special reserves to see these beautiful and elegant creatures pitted against each other in mortal combat. It was a brilliant. And actually, it's just, I suppose, the way David Attenborough speaks. But it's the amount of superlatives and adjectives that are used in every sentence to describe even the more, most mundane things. The combat is based upon a particular instinct of the footballer. Apart from their characteristic smell of denker rub, the <laughs> Australian Royals footballers... <laughs> I'm going to assume that is very similar to our um, deep heat or the sort of deep heat rub when changing rooms smell like this musky heat rub. Oh, it's vile. Most characteristic feature is that they must pursue ovoid objects such as this egg-shaped ball. Watch what happens when I throw the ball in amongst them. Oh. <laughs> These cubs are severely playing, but were they to meet footballers from another pack, it would be quite different. The match, as it's called, begins with the members of two different packs being let out of their cages onto the arena. <laughs> keeper then takes the ball and throws it in amongst them immediately responding to their instincts and moving swiftly despite tight bindings around their hindquarters the biggest of the pack try to seize it. There then ensues a bitter and bloody fight in which the ball is alternately seized first by one team and then by the other. When the team does manage to get the ball into its own territory another keeper throws it back in again. Thus the fight continues for several hours. I was just thinking to myself, what do you mean keeper? Did they? Did the umpires used to have another name? No, it's just talking about animals in a zoo and the keepers throw. Oh man, it's so it's amazing how um, you can get all these different commentaries on on things like this, for example, and it just works perfectly relating them to animals in a zoo. During the course of it, many of these creatures are injured, despite thick padding around the groin area. <laughs> Sometimes the injuries are severe. This only seems to please the crowds more. <laughs> Animal liberation groups are keeping up a constant campaign <laughs> to have this brutal sport stopped and for these magnificent creatures to be returned to the wild or else used in a systematic program of breeding. Luckily, that's something that many of these creatures have begun already off their own bat. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy company. Bloody love the comedy company. Uh, it's so good. And you get so... It's not just the comedy company. It's not just the character David Rabbit Bar. Um, that can do this. There are so many different out there where, for example, over lockdown, um, there was the English football commentator. I think he's football. Anyway, he's an English commentator who who commented on the Penguin March on Phillip Island. And it's so good to be able to do these um, two almost unrelated things, putting them together. That was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do the usual. Like, subscribe, join the vlog channel over a, um, over on the other channel. Join the Discord server if you want to support the channel. There's channel memberships and there is buy me a coffee and there's also merchandise. Thank you so much. I'll catch you next time.